Hey everybody, we have an Australian Labradoodle puppy litter update. These are the nine Australian Labradoodle puppies from our extra innings litter. And in today's video, we're going to tell you a little bit about each of these puppies, let you meet them all individually, tell you what their new weights are, what they've been up to this past week, and also give you a little bit of an update on Mama Spirit. Hi, I'm Claire from Van Isle Labradoodles and these nine beautiful Australian Labradoodle puppies are all thriving. It's amazing how Mama uh, Spirit can do such a great job of keeping nine babies growing and they're all nice and juicy and plump and really thriving. And you can see they all work hard to find their spots at the milk bar here. They're very enthusiastic about it and they all have lots of energy and lots of strength to be able to get to their spot where they need to be. Now there's not room for all nine of them to be uh, nursing at the same time so there is a lot of jockeying for position and we do do a little bit of help for the puppies. So all these puppies are a week old now and they all have pretty much doubled their birth weight. And that's always our goal in the first about 10 days. Uh, this little girl here, Tan, has not quite doubled her birth weight. And so we give her some preference over the others. So Pink Collar here has more than doubled her birth weight as has Light Blue Collar. So when they're up here trying to nurse and they're trying to push her out, we'll just uh, give her a little bit of an extra helping hand and we'll just take the more bossy puppies and we'll move them over here and get them to start looking again. This way, Tan gets a little bit of a head start on everything. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll, you'll also see that she's lying on top of her brother there in order to be able to nurse. So she's very good at problem solving. Uh, sometimes you'll see her even coming down this way to, to nurse. And up until now, we were holding her on and we would hold her in place. But she is now strong enough and vigor en vigorous enough doing well on her own that we no longer have to do that for her. Uh, we still do come in and check her every couple of hours just to make sure and we do weigh her more frequently than the other puppies just to ensure that she's not uh, going backward at all and that she continues to move forward. So she will catch up without any problem. She's just uh, doing things at a slightly slower pace. She was, if you remember from our birth announcement video, the smallest puppy in the litter. So this is not unusual. Then you see how she fell off the nipple there? Before we would have had to hold her and help her find it again. Now she's just doing great. Now and as for Mama Spee here, she is doing quite nicely. Now I mentioned on our Facebook page that Spirit had a little bit of a change in her diet. And what happened uh, was when the puppies were around three days old, uh, Spirit got what we call eclampsia. And eclampsia is when the calcium load from all of these puppies nursing is more than the calcium that the mama dog has available to offer. So it is uh, characterized by a variety of different things. Normally you'll see the back legs not working quite right. Um, you'll see some extreme panting, which is hard because it's already warm in here and she is panting. You see inappropriate maternal behavior and a lot of wiping of the face. But the real clue uh, that we use all the time is you can see it in their eyes. Their eyes become somewhat vacant so eclampsia can be fatal. It is an emergency situation. The dog does have to go to the veterinarian immediately. So off Spirit went to the vet uh, and what happens at the vet is they check her ionized calcium levels as well as her potassium and her phosphorus levels. So her calcium was actually not too bad. Um, however, her potassium and her phosphorus levels were both a bit low. So she had a very, very mild incident of it. And it's just because we're familiar with it, we were able to recognize it immediately. So what happens then? She gets um, an intravenous and you can see on her paw here that her skin has been shaved because that is where she had the IV. So she has calcium IV and then up on uh, in between her shoulder blades, you do a sub-Q injection of liquid calcium. 
She responded really quickly. She didn't have to stay at the vet, which was great. She was back home before the puppies were ready to nurse again. But that meant we had to make an adjustment in her diet. She needed to have some super high calorie food. And the raw food, you can only eat so much. There's only so much tummy here. Uh, so we had to use a food that is not one of my favorites. Uh, it is a prescription vet food. It's a canned food. It's called Urgent Care. And it is very, very high calorie. So, and she would eat that because she was also getting to the point where she didn't want to eat. So we fed her that and she was eating quite a lot of that as well as uh, puppy food, Stella and Chewy's freeze-dried raw puppy food. Because raw does not come in adult, senior puppy. So you have to make adjustments for the stage of life that the dog is in. So that's fine, that was all going well. However, Spirit has never eaten a commercial f food, um, a commercial dried food or canned food. And this Urgent Care has a lot of corn products in it, as almost all uh, commercially made canned and kibble foods do. There you see now Tan's had her turn, so we'll just let her off and then pink or light blue or whoever was going to find their way over there. Oh, and here's an empty one, so we'll bring Tan over there, see if she wants that one. There we go. So that's what I mean when I say we manage how they, how they eat to make sure everyone has an equal opportunity. So uh, Spirits had a reaction to that food. Um, it doesn't agree with her. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, she's developed a hot spot. So we have a natural treatment for that and uh, we will be uh, also having her seen by our vet just to make sure everything's going okay. So that was the excitement in Spirit's life. She's feeling great. She's absolutely happy now. Uh, she's running around. She loves to go outside. We take her outside on our own to make her feel a little bit more special. Uh, she likes to sit out in the backyard and survey everything and just have a break from the puppies. She's also, because she's such an experienced mom, she's well aware when they're fed and they're all taken care of and so she'll come and she'll sit with us and spend time with us and she'll do that sometimes for about 45 minutes. So she's really comfy um, at leaving the babies which is great so now let's get to the fun part which is the puppies so they've all except for tan um, and yellow doubled or more than doubled their birth weight you can see this chunky monkey here well he has more than doubled his birth weight he is woo, one big broad puppy and you can see purple collar here purple collar is uh, quite forward about getting his spots and uh, he has no problem shoving everybody out of the way to get to where he wants to go and he doesn't care what angle he approaches things at. So Tan has not quite doubled uh, her birth weight and yellow is just under. Otherwise everyone has doubled their birth weight. So we'll go through all the puppies now in their birth order which is how we always do things in our videos and uh, we'll just tell you what their actual weights are and a little bit about each of them. So the first one is Red Collar Boy, who I think is this puppy here. Yeah, and Red Collar's nursing, but Red Collar has no problem finding his way around. So there we go, a little sweet. Hi. So of course they still can't see and they still can't hear, but we're talking away to them all the time. We handle them. Uh, when they get their probiotics each day, that's a paste, and I just put it right into their mouth. So they're used to me handling their mouths, they're used to me picking them up. And we do little things like we put them upside down for a very short period of time. We stand them like this, and we sometimes do this with them. And we are always, always, always touching their feet and their toes. Now I want to show you a couple cute things on Little Red Collar Boy. Right over here on his baby toe, he has one beautiful little black beauty spot. And if you take a look at his pretty pink nose, he has one little black spot. His nose is starting to fill in. So he just has that one little tiny spot so far. And Mr. Red Collar, he's a gorgeous black and white party boy. Very handsome with his two yellow patches on his eyes. Oh, yes, he's so cute. And Mr. Red Collar is coming in at 611 grams already. Really a good size. All of the puppies except for Tan are over a pound already. So it's really something. And now you'll see Spirit is going to give him a little cleanup on aisle three here. Make sure that I didn't do anything I ought not to have. Hey, sweetheart. Next is Pink Collar Girl. Come here, little girly. Oh, she's... These 
Larger puppies are so strong I can hardly get them off the nipple. Pink color is this beautiful gleaming ebony girl with the beautiful pink tongue that you just showed everybody. She has a beautiful little white goatee which is courtesy of her grandma Bijou. Mm -hmm. You are a little Bijou aren't you? Yes. And then she has all the beautiful white on her chest and then these gorgeous little icing sugar dip toes. Oh that's like a little stocking stuffer. And Miss Pink is 668 grams. Just doing beautifully. You can see the shine in the coat and you can see how beautifully full and plump this puppy is just a picture of health lovely to see so that's our pink collar girl next is our blue collar boy and he's over here come here buddy Dark blue collar boy is another one of these gorgeous, gleaming, shiny, ebony boys. And he is the most solid black out of all of them. You can see he, do you have any white on you? I think you have a little bit somewhere, don't you? Maybe he has no white. Maybe he is actually a true solid black. I thought he had a little smidge of white on his chest. I seem to remember that from when you were born. And oh my goodness, this little puppy is opening his eyes. Holy cow. There, this is typical of Spirit. Spirit's puppies are always so far ahead on their milestones. Now, I'm not sure if you can see it on the video because he is black, so it's the hardest way to see the eyes. But when I turned him over there, he just was opening his eyes. Oh my goodness, you're so ahead of the curve, yes. And Mr. Dar Blue is 672 grams, and he is not even the biggest puppy, if you can believe it. Wow, so now we know to start looking more closely for opening up eyes. Next is our little crazy fellow here, Mr. Purple Collar, who's going to be really probably giving me a lot of grief because I took him off of the nipple. Mr. Purple Collar has personality times five. He just keeps us laughing all the time. You can see how busy he is. He's squirming away saying, put me down, put me down. I gotta get back and eat. Purple Collar is 549 grams. And you can see that his nose is filling in quite a bit more than what we saw on Red Collar Boy there. And they're both beautiful black parties. He has cute little markings. And then my favorite is his little white ring around his tail. So let's see if I put him upside down if his eyes fall open too. Nope, but I can see that the slits are there. Now this little sweetie has one of my favorite features and that's his little mustache that's starting to appear here. And it looks like he's gonna have a half stash. The half stash is just the cutest thing when they have the mustache on one side and not the other. So we'll put him back before he gets really mad at me. He's just, he's so hilarious. And then you'll see these puppies are <laughs> super relaxed. Uh, yellow collar is just upside down and oh, going to turn around now. We often find them upside down in the typical labradoodle position. And yellow collar is our next little puppy, this little caramel girl. Oh my goodness, she's so pretty. Look at that pretty coloring that she has there. Oh, she's just such a beautiful girl. Her eyes are definitely not opening yet. They're still quite sealed shut. She has little bits of white dabs on her toes there. And I am pretty sure that her pads are brown, and so that means she will be a caramel, not an apricot. I can't tell positively, but I do think those are brown. And Yellow Collar Girl is 533 grams. She's not very far behind from uh, doubling her birth weight, but not quite there yet. But that's fine. We always think it's, if it's done in 10 days, then uh, we consider that a win. And if it's done in two weeks, that's still acceptable. And you can see on her coat a few little ridges there, so she's going to have a little bit more curl to her coat than the other puppies. So that's our yellow collar girl. Next is the biggest puppy in the litter now, and that is orange collar girl. Orange collar girl is our only phantom in the litter. She's a chocolate phantom. Let's see your eyes. It doesn't look like her eyes are opening yet either. I, w I was just shocked that the other ones were. Miss Orange Collar Girl is a whopping 691 grams. Oh, actually, she's not the biggest. I'm sorry. Light blue is the biggest. My mistake. She is a big, big girl. She more than doubled her birth weight. But you can see they don't have huge fat bellies or anything. They have nice full tummies, but they're very beautifully proportioned. And this little girl is a very attractive girl with those tan points. And she has a really pretty kind of almost auburny color to her chocolate. You can see quite a bit of red going through it in the, in the coat there. So that's orange collar girl. Next is our bruiser. 
over here. How could I have forgotten you? Light blue collar. Oh my goodness, so heavy I can already almost not pick you up. This handsome, handsome fellow is this beautiful, shiny black. All sorts of white, beautiful abstract markings and those little dip toes. His toes don't look too clean right now. Spirit obviously hasn't given him his bath. Yeah, you looks like you need to have your little toesies cleaned up. And his little nose has still got some pink, but the black is starting to come in. At 775 grams, that's a very large puppy at this time and at this stage of the game. So I expect this puppy is going to mature to be a good size, probably around spirit size, maybe even a little bit bigger. So this will be a good choice for the family who's looking for a larger puppy. And there we go, Mr. Light Blue. Then we have our little sweetie pie tan. And we've all become very fond of Miss Tan. This is a little bit closer to the puppy size that we normally have. You'll see that she's just so focused on eating. As soon as we got her going, she was just determined that she was going to do anything and everything to become a really happy, healthy puppy. So I have a little product that's called Nurture Mate. It's just a little paste. It's a very high calorie, a very dense caloric little paste. And you just put a little bit inside their mouths. So when Tan was not really having too much luck at nursing, and of course we're not here with them all night long. Uh, we do come and check on them, but we're, we don't sleep with them. Uh, I gave her that at night and that just gave her enough of a boost that it pushed her forward where she had enough strength and enough reserves that she was able to just make that leap into, okay, I can do it. That along with us coming in every two hours to make sure that she was able to nurse really just to, put her right where she needs to be. So she's now 379 grams, which is just really good. At first she was, we would have days where she'd only gain, you know, she'd go from 210 to 211 and we thought that was pretty good. So we're really proud of her and all of her accomplishments and part of it is in, due to her little temperament and having that tenacity and that huge desire to survive and thrive. And last but not least is Silver Collar, who is way over here now in the box. Oh yeah, you might have noticed we've changed our box. You probably can't tell. We had to move to the next size up. It was just too crowded. And you can see I have pink and dark blue here right beside me. They're probably a little hard to see because I have black pants on. But it's really important when you're in the box that you know where everybody is because it's too easy to move on top of one. So especially when you're trying to get one from way over here. Hello, little silver collar girl. This little pretty caramel. And again, I think she's probably going to be a caramel because I think those pads are brown, not black. Although they're close enough that I can't be sure. So it may be that she's an apricot and her eyes are also starting to open. And you'll see Spirit decided that since I brought her close by, she'll take advantage and do the, her little clean up on her. Can I have her for just a sec? Thanks. So little silver collar girl, very pretty, beautiful shade, sort of a more of a bit of red there. And now he probably heard spirit growl. So we are in the midst of a major renovation in our house. Our kitchen is, has been totally demoed yesterday uh, and there are people coming in and working on the kitchen. So generally spirit cannot see that because her room is solid. So we close it so she can't see. We play Alexa so that she can't hear them so that she isn't agitated by that. But right now when we're filming, the door is open and she can see through the glass doors. So she was just growling and saying, hey, what are you doing getting near my babies? She is very protective of her babies. Silver collar is 625 grams really doing very nicely. This little puppy is very inobtrusive, tends to get forgotten a little bit because he's all, or she's always doing just fine, gains weight, never pushes around, doesn't need any help. So that's all the puppies. And one little thing I want to do is just give you a little heads up. Uh, whether you're getting one of the puppies from this litter, you have a puppy coming home soon, or in the new year, uh, or you have an adult dog even. With Christmas, the pet stores go crazy and they have all these pretty little things out and people buy them. 
And then I just wanted to give you a warning that a lot of the products in there are not good for your dog, be it a Labradoodle or another kind of dog. So later this week, uh, we're going to make another video. I'm going to go to town and I'm going to buy some of the things that um, I'm talking about so we can do a little Christmas video, show you some of the do's and don'ts in terms of if you want to buy something for your puppy or for your puppy to be uh, or for a friend who's getting a puppy. And we just want to show you some of the things and why they're not a good choice and what is a better choice instead so that it's safe and there's no worries and we'll also give you a few tips and pointers on how to manage a brand new puppy or an adult dog with all the frenzy and excitement over the holiday season so we hope you'll join us for that we will put that on our puppies one two three playlist and that will probably air well it'll air sometime in the first 10 days of December so we hope you look for that video and if you enjoyed today's video, we hope you give us a thumbs up and we hope you subscribe so that you can uh, take advantage of seeing all of our videos that have those little helpful hints about things such as what to do over the holiday season and what to avoid. And we thank you so much for watching. Spee, spee, open eye.